world. Very, very beautiful. Finally, I've seen some of this that I wanted to see in Tibet. Video cameras everywhere, filming every movement. It's disturbing, actually. Really disturbing. What an amazing place. You can just feel the, the spiritual vibe here. It's just incredible. certain times we've got to be everywhere so we've got 20 minutes to make it to the top for our check-in and then we've only got an hour inside so very very regulated kind of a shame actually it's a beautiful place and I would like to spend all day here to the Jog Kong and um, the place yeah, it's beautiful. So we just wandered down to the Patala Palace at night time after dinner. Have a bit of a look around the, uh, the gardens and the palace and that. In the big square. Really cool place actually. You see the gardens over there? And behind me, you can see the palace. We're on our way up to the Gandin Monastery, up one of the most crazy zigzag roads I've ever seen in my life. Just down the bottom of the hill, we had to go through a police check. It's everywhere through here. Really strange because we just got the bus, walked through a um, metal detector, and then back on the bus. Didn't need to take our bags, didn't need to check anything. It's like the show of force, the show of power. Show that they can control you anywhere you are in Tibet. So the air's a bit thin, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm fine with the altitude, but the air's pretty thin. This is so beautiful. It's really something else. Walking around here. This mountain. From the Korma. 
I'm by myself. It's, it's great. Just having any time to myself, time to think, and looking out over that amazing scenery, amazing landscape. You can you can see why they they chose this place for a monastery. There's something very special about it. which makes it hurt even more when we see what is happening to the peaceful Tibetans. But I can't say too much because there is actually cameras around. I've seen a few of them just in the trees. You know, it's full on. You don't, we can't, we can't just, we can't understand start to understand what it's like for the Tibetans. They're controlling the monks, they're controlling the monasteries, they're controlling the road up here. They're trying to wipe out the Tibetan culture by just not teaching it at school. It's full on and quite scary actually. You just don't know what we're going to see, or you know, what our things that we're doing here, well, that's going to, how that's going to affect everybody. Be very, very careful. trip. 5,248. Oh, I can't believe it. Three weeks ago I was on the, in Nepal looking into Tibet. To the mountain on that side and now I'm in Tibet. It's just in 